Hello, my name is Rai Bateri, and the topic I will be discussing today is the Great Barrier Reef um, versus coral bleaching. So where is the Great Barrier Reef located? It is located in the Coral Sea, which is in Australia, specifically on the east coast of Australia. It spans over 2,300 kilometers, which is approximately 1,400 miles. Um, some fun facts is you can see this amazing ecosystem uh, from space. Uh, the Great Barrier Reef is one of the world's vastly diverse coral reef systems on the planet. It is home to many fish, sea mammals, sharks, and a large variety of plant species. Okay, what is a coral? So a coral is actually an animal. They are related to jellyfish and sea, sea anemones. Um, coral is made up of thousands of soft-bodied organisms called the polyps that function as tiny mouths and stomachs. Um, so what, what is coral bleaching? Coral bleaching is a phenomenon that is predominantly driven and accelerated by the interface of humanity through climate change. Coral reefs thrive in a climate temperature between 73 and 84 degrees Fahrenheit. However, a slight two degree change within the water can cause thousands of corals um, to get the process of coral bleaching. The bleaching itself is caused when corals release algae from their polyps, ultimately losing their main food source and they end up starving which leads to uh, their flesh turning clear, which exposes the, us to their skeleton. The leading cause of coral bleaching is actually greenhouse gas, which causes uh, severe large heat waves that, for example, that occurred in 2016 and 2017. So what has been damaged so far Two thirds of the coral in the Great Barrier Reef have been fully bleached. The northern part of the Great Barrier Reef is suffering the most with 91% of the reef showing signs of coral bleaching, which can lead to widespread mortality in the northern part of the reef. So coral reefs are important for many reasons, one being that they protect coastlines from damaging effects from storms, waves, and they are one of the most diverse ecosystems on earth. Um, Coral reefs hold about one third of marine wildlife and species. For example, off the coast of the Lizard Island, located in the northern half of the Coral Sea, water temperatures has risen to nearly 95 degrees in recent years, which caused 29% of the corals near the island to fully undergo the a bleaching epidemic. Additionally, since 2016, nearly 67% of the corals um, from Lizard Island and the rest of the northern reef above has died. So why is coral bleaching so damaging? Um, so coral bleaching is very damaging as it consists one third of the marine ecosystem. Uh, this ultimately leads to many islands around the Great Barrier Reef to have a shortage of food. And uh, not only does it affect the natives that live on these islands, but it also affects tourism and its economy. If restaurants cannot sell fish anymore, they lose revenue and uh, the area ecotourism population decreases which then affects their entire ecosystem and the island ends up becoming poorer. And this is all stemming from just the loss of corals. Um, also, uh, corals have a wide impact on the ecosystem within the ocean. So if one, for example, uh, you think of a house of cards, if one card is pulled from that tower, then everything comes crashing down, resulting in population decreasing in our marine mammals, economy decreasing along islands that depend on the Great Barrier Reef, and so forth.
So what are the damaging effects of coral bleaching uh, to our oceans? So when coral bleaching happens, an abundant amount of algae in our oceans appear. Algae is good for oceans, but in a controlled quantity. Algae uses carbon dioxide in order to conduct photosynthesis, like all plants, however, too much carbon in the ocean causes the ocean to become acidic, which is a process called ocean acidification. This is why the algae is also uh, calcifying because they are able to produce calcium carbonate from bicarbonate. Uh, this and abundance of algae in our oceans uh, can be harmful to fish, sea turtles, and marine mammals, but it can also be harmful to us. With ocean becoming more acidic, it is actually more hazardous for us, meaning we wouldn't be able to swim or do fishing with our family and more ocean activities like that. Um, so what can we do? Um, lessen the use of chemically enhanced pesticides and fertilizers. Fertilizers uh, volunteered to do beach cleanups, recycling and spread awareness. And you can also do coral farming if that's a job you're interested in. As for spreading awareness, that can be something as simple as using reef safe sunscreen and then telling your friends about it and getting them all to use that as well. Uh, stems with small changes in our everyday life that can lead to bigger changes for our reefs. Um, before I end, I do want to say that about within 25 years, the Great Barrier Reef will be completely bleached, um, bleached due to the rapid change in climate. Um, and within the next 30 years, more coral around the world will be completely bleached, which is going to be a mass death of the ecosystem and our life. Thank you. I hope you learned something and see you later.